Hi, my name is Pete Kapler, and I'm the travel trainer for Link Transit. And today, I'd like to walk you through how to use our super helpful free mobile app called MyStop. If you ever stood at a bus stop wondering when your next bus is coming, or worse, maybe you've missed the bus, those days are over. My Stop brings you real-time information right on your phone. You can see exactly where your bus is at any time and find out just how long before it reaches your stop. It can send you alerts when it's time to catch your bus or let you know when your bus is delayed. My Stop will literally build you an itinerary anywhere you are to anywhere you'd like to go using Link Transit in seconds. My Stop is easy to set up and even easier to use. So let's get started. Of course, the first step with any app is to download it onto your device. You can find the MyStop app on the Apple App Store for all you iPhone and iPad users, and it's also available on Google Play for Android and tablet users. Simply search for MyStop in either of those stores or use the QR codes right here to take you there directly. Now take a moment to download the app if you haven't already and we'll move on to the next section where I'll show you how to set it up for the first time. Now that you have the app, tap the app icon to open it up, and I'll show you how to set it up for the first time. The only trick here is you need to select Link Transit as your transit service. Link should be right at the top. Tap the Link logo and you're in. And you only need to do this the first time after you've downloaded the app. It will remember your selection from now on. As I said earlier, this app can do an awful lot when it comes to helping you make the most of your Link Transit system. You can find the menu button right here in the upper left corner. Tap that and you'll discover a few options right off the bat. Real-time info right at the top here can show you where Link buses actually are on any route at any time. We'll play with that a little more later. All stops is a handy feature. Tap that and you'll see a list of every single bus stop starting at the one closest to you right now. This is super helpful if you're in a new area and you aren't sure where to catch the bus. Feedback allows you to drop us a note if you say have an idea about something that can make the app better. Settings you don't need to pay too much attention to. It does give you the option to select whether you want the app to use Google or Apple Maps when it's displaying the routes, and there's options to change to a different transit system or to use the app in accessibility mode. So let's start at the top with real-time info. Tap that on the menu, and it'll take you straight to the main page with the blue dot. That's you. These maps work just like all the mobile maps you're used to. You can drag it around with one finger, you can zoom in and out using two fingers. You may also see a welcome message that suggests you select a route, if you haven't already, to see some of the real-time info. Let's do that. Just tap the Select Routes button at the bottom of the page, and up comes a list of every link route we offer. To select one or more, just tap on the circle to the right of it, and it will show a check mark to let you know it's been selected. You can select more than one route if you want, and to deselect a route, you just tap it again, and the check mark will disappear. Let's check out Route 22 that runs between Wenatchee, Kashmir, and Leavenworth. Select it with a tap, then drag the list down from the top with your finger, and you'll see Route 22 on your map now. The gray dots are all the available bus stops, and the bus icon shows you in real time where the buses are and in what direction they're headed. Let's say you happen to be at Columbia Station. That's the first and last stop on the line here. If you tap that stop, maybe zoom in to make it a little easier, up comes a list of all the upcoming departures from that stop. If I scroll down, I can see that the next Route 22 bus to Kashmir and Leavenworth leaves at 420. To get rid of the list, simply drag it down with your finger like we did before. You can find the same information for any bus you tap along this route or any other route you've selected. Just tap this X in the upper left corner to clear the bus stop you were looking at and tap another one. Handy, right? But let's say you're not at Columbia Station. Maybe you're actually in Kashmir, for example. 
and you don't know exactly which link stop will be best for you to catch the bus going to Leavenworth or Wenatchee. This is where the all stops feature is very helpful. Go back to the menu and tap all stops and it will pull up a list of the stops with the one nearest to you at the very top. Tap the one you want and you'll see all of the upcoming buses. It even provides you walking directions with a map and an estimate of how long it will take you to get there. Another feature that shows up here is notifications. Just tap the bus route you plan to take from that bus stop and the MyStop app can send you a text or an email notifying you anytime up to 30 minutes before that bus is due to arrive. So say you've got a five minute walk to your stop and you want to give yourself five minutes to get out the door. Simply tap here to set up the notification time to 10 minutes. Select email or text, enter your email or phone number depending on which one you selected and tap add notification. You'll get a reminder 10 minutes before your bus is set to arrive at your bus stop. This can be especially helpful if there's been some kind of delay along the route and you're not sure when the bus will arrive. But remember, this is a one-time only notification. If you want to receive regular ongoing notifications, these are called rider alerts, which I'll show you how to set up next. Rider alerts are ongoing notifications that you can set up. For example, if you want to get a text or an email reminder every day 15 minutes before your bus to take you to work arrives, you absolutely can. This feature requires that you set up a MyStop account for yourself, and that's easy to do, but it can only be done from a computer and not from your phone or your tablet. You can find full instructions on how to set up your account and rider alerts at this link. Now let's move on to the trip planning function of MyStop. Now is where the app gets really powerful. The trip planning button is always available right here at the bottom of the home map screen. Tap the button and it's just a matter of putting in your start and end points. Tap from and then tap the blank space and either enter your starting address or tap on my location directly below. Next tap to and type in where you'd like to go. Let's say Wenatchee Valley Mall for this example. There it is. Tap it to select it and then hit Get directions. Up comes a list with all the possibilities with the fastest, soonest option at the top. Pick the one that fits your schedule, tap go, and simply follow along. It's like having a tour guide right on your phone. As you become more familiar with the MyStop app, you'll probably find that you use certain routes at certain times more than others. To set favorites, just look for the stars. On the select routes list, they're right here. Just tap it to make it a favorite or tap it again to take it off your list of favorites. If you tap one of the stops on the map, you'll find the star again. Just tap it to make it a favorite, tap it again to take it off the list. Once you have some favorites back here at the home map screen, you'll find one more star right here in the upper right hand corner. Tap this and voila, up comes a list of all your favorite stops and routes, saving you the time of having to go back and look them up again. There are just a couple more helpful buttons I want to show you on the home map screen before we wrap this up. Now, you already know about the menu button in the upper left hand corner and the favorite button up here in the upper right. Now look down to the lower left and you'll see this little compass icon. Tap that and the map will zoom to your actual location. That is assuming your phone is somewhere within range. Next over to the lower right. Tapping this globe icon toggles your map between the graphics view and the satellite view. The satellite view takes a bit more bandwidth. So if you're in a place with spotty reception, you'll probably want to select the graphics view just so you can get your information a little more quickly. And that's it. Thanks for taking time out to learn about the MyStop app with me today. If you have any questions about any of this, you can read more about it on our Link Transit website at this link. Or you can reach out to me by email or phone. You might even consider taking advantage of our travel training service. I'll come to you in person free of charge and help you figure out the best way to get anywhere you need to go on Link Transit. 
I hope this helps you get started using the MyStop app. See you on the bus. Mm -hmm.